Hey everybody, this is Terry here at Hobby Barn. I just wanted to come on here and do a quick little shout out uh, shop cards and uh, stash ads that I got from Acme and uh, some of the things that I won in the raffle. But um, start off with this first shop card I got. I actually got hit uh, Thursday before I left and uh, I waited till now to do, the, uh, do a shout out for it. But it's from my buddy Tony over at uh, T-Dogs Model Cars. And uh, he sent this cool little sticker to go with it. Um, also, it's, uh, he's got this pickup truck that he does a lot of rust and weathering effect on the vehicles he does. So if you've not uh, subscribed to Tony, you know, be sure to go over and check out his uh, channel at uh, T-Dogs uh, Model Cars. And I'm sure you appreciate it. And uh, Tony, I appreciate the words that you put on the back of that card too. It means a lot to me. And uh, this one here is the the first person that come up to me when my son pushed me into the hospitality uh, section of the the host hotel. Uh, it was old Tom Rambler sixty nine. He come up and handed me one of his uh, cards that he had made just for Acme, and um, he showed me some pictures that he'd done of the moon eyes that he entered into contest that um, he made the ratchet straps for it to, to hold down the tires on the trailer. And um, and it's it's just something else to see the, the work that he does on these cars. It ain't no wonder that he won the top 10 uh, in that category. But uh, anyway, Tom, I really appreciate it and, and I really, really am glad that I got to meet you. And I hope it won't be the last time. But um, that was my first shop card that I got once I got down there. And um, next one, uh, I ran into this guy while we was uh, going through the, uh, the down by the models and looking at him uh, Saturday. And um, he said he was going to look for me. And, and um, it was Bama Scale Models. Uh, Michael is his name, I think. But um, he comes into my live streams and he goes in, comes in everybody else's uh, now that he knows what days and what times that everybody's having them and um, really nice guy him and his wife both and I appreciate the, the getting to meet you uh, Bama and uh, the kind words you got on the back of the card but anyway be sure to go over and check out his page uh, he's just getting started out but he's got some great models on there this uh, tractor is one of them that he uh, had in the contest and um he also has a tree house that he done with a with a truck cab uh, that he used for the the tr uh, the house. But uh, be sure to go check his page out. And uh, next one, uh, run into this guy. I'm pretty sure he was with Jimmy Leopard. But uh, it was my buddy uh, Rockabilly. Um, I didn't recognize him at first, and then he told me who he was and handed me the card. But uh, if y'all get a chance, go check him out. But um, I, like I said, I've met you know several people out there, and um, probably could have met a lot more. But um, where I was in that wheelchair, I was just you know kind of limited to my mobility. You know, just wherever my son pushed me is about the extent of where I had to go. And um, and I, a lot of you know the people that I've seen there in the hospitality suites. Uh, more or less come up to me because I was sitting and, you know, I was stationary in that one spot where I had my oxygen machine hooked up to, the, you know, plugged into the wall and uh, I really couldn't go anywhere, but I still got to meet a lot of people and I really enjoyed getting to go. But um, if you want to hear all the details on, how, you know, my experience and what I thought about acne for the first time, tune into my live stream tomorrow night at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern T Standard Time because uh, I plan on doing a lot more talking about it and, and everything on my live stream. So be sure to tune in if you uh, get a chance. But uh, this next one, everybody knows him. It's none other than Snappy Pappy. And yeah, I give him that name too. But uh, he gives me another one of his uh, stickers that, uh, that he made for the Acme. And you can see I got the other one laying over here to go with it. But um, he also uh, has the uh, shop card made up just for Acme. And uh, 
you have to see that 32 right there in person. I mean, this card here don't even do it nowhere near justice. But uh, be sure to go over and check out Fred Henry, at, uh, or Snappy Pappy as everybody knows him. And uh, at uh, West Georgia Rods and Customs, I'm sure he appreciate it. And uh, most of everybody's already probably said to him, but check him out anyway, if you've not. Um, but also, th this is his new shop card that he had made that uh, we saw on the live stream tonight. He rubbed the decals off of it, but uh, that's another story to go with it too. So, But anyway, be sure to check out Pappy uh, over at West Georgia Rods and Custom. And um, got to meet my buddy Ted been coming into my live streams on Thursdays and been going, you know, to others, Brian's, Pappy's, and uh, Cliff's. Um, awesome builder. Uh, had a great looking Corvette down there. And um, just an all, all around nice guy to meet uh, and talk to. So be sure you go over and check out his uh, Ted's Cards and Guitars. Yeah, he does play guitar and he did say that uh, he had his guitar in his motel room, but uh, he didn't bring it out and play it for nobody. But uh, also, he brought a shop card for uh, Amanda, and uh, she has the uh, Amanda's Model Works and uh, Cuss Jar collections. And um, she could make a good living just off of Pappy uh, uh, in his live streams. So, um, be sure to go and uh, check these out and uh, tell them that I sent you. I'm sure they appreciate it. And uh, Ted, appreciate the words. And um, now I ran into this guy in the parking lot on the way into the building. And uh, it was uh, Ernest from Spunky's uh, 739 uh, model shop. So uh, check him out. That's his uh, appreciation bill for uh, Pappy. Uh, last year, I think that uh, saw his shop card there, but uh, be sure and go and check him out. He's got he does some awesome work, and uh, tell him that I sent you over. <clears throat> and I appreciate the words on the back of it too, Ernest. And uh, last but not least, is my good buddy Bob uh, busking at uh, Rusty Spud Aerodrome. Arrow, Arrow, I get it out here in a minute, Bob. But um, he sat with or I sat with him, me and my son. And uh, Terry, too, uh, Saturday night at uh, the restaurant we was at, and uh, I know Bob's already mentioned it on his video, that um, they thought they was going to have to take up a collection for bail money for me um, because of the way I was doing aggravating the nurses or the, the waitresses and stuff that was dressed like a nurse. But um, anyway, that's all the stickers and uh, the uh, shop cards that I got while I was gone. But uh, I did get uh, a few models, so I didn't buy much. And uh, the first thing I bought was I went by Model Car Garage and uh, I bought uh, some uh, seatbelt buckles, uh, photo etched seatbelt buckles that they had and uh, so I could make some seatbelts. But um, the thing that I was wanting, they handed me the wrong thing. I didn't know it until after I done got home. But uh, I wanted a pack, and they had them laying on the table just for you to choose from, you know, to look at. And then they reached back around the inventory and got it. But uh, I wanted a pack of battery terminal ends. But what they handed me when I got home was a Delco battery kit. It just has one battery and the wire and, and the two battery terminal ends. And that's not what I wanted, but that will work. I, I mean, I still use it. But... Um, the only kit that I bought, uh, I seen this one sitting at one of the vendors. He wanted fifteen dollars for it, and I opened it up. It's it, the box is kind of beaten, banged all to hell, but uh, the inside of it is still in the plastic bags. It's never been opened. But he wanted fifteen dollars for it. But uh, when I got up there to where he was at and uh, laid it down on his uh, table. He told me, he said, give me $10 and we're good. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for $10. Um, I, I always have like the, the 41 Plymouth. I've got a 41 Plymouth rocker up here on my uh, shelf that uh, 
I've been able to build here, or was going to build it a long time ago. It's never did do it. But anyway, this video is getting too long. Um, but uh, I did buy uh, ten dollars worth of raffle tickets when we first got there and uh, got our you know tickets to go in. And um, one of the things that I won, or they had a big table that uh, had all kinds of stuff on it. So you could, you know, if you was a, won the raffle, you go over and pick out your choice of whatever on that table you wanted as your prize. So the first thing that I took was one of the Tamiya model cleaning anesthetic brushes. Um, I know these things is not cheap. So I figured for a dollar a ticket that I bought the raffle tickets, it was well worth a dollar. So after I got that one, I was standing around and uh, noticed I won another raffle or another ticket. So I went back to the table again. This time I bought or got the Ram charger. Um, I was wanting this kit a long time ago. I just never did get it in Hobby Lobby. And um, for the dollar ticket that I bought, uh, I think it was well worth it. But that's the only thing I've got while I was gone. That'll probably hold me for a while. But the experience and the company and uh, everything, uh, uh, being around everybody, and my first time of being out in three years, other than being in going to the hospital, made up for all the difference and uh, money can't buy it. But uh, if you're still here uh, this long, I appreciate it if you uh, go in and subscribe to me if you're not already. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. I will co uh, answer you back. Share it if you'd like. And if you want one of my shop cards, uh, just go to my about page. My email address is in it. I'll have it down in the description too on this video. But um, again, I appreciate everybody out there that's uh, subbed to me already. And those of you that, uh, that will be in the future, hopefully. But um, till the next time, y'all have a great day. And I love every one of you. And uh, I'll see you on here the next time. Appreciate it. Oh, and don't forget my uh, live stream tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where we talk about the experience that I had at the acne. Um, but anyway, y'all have a good one. Bye.